About 10 years ago, I did a video on a guitar that I used to own back then. It was a Gibson BB King model, Lucille, beautiful guitar. And a friend of mine asked me to put it on my channel because one of his friends has the same guitar. So that's what this is all about. This was 10 years ago, just about to the day. And I realized, hey, I'm not the best player, but I do it. I play because I love it. Music was an outlet for me because I was running a photography business. There was lots of pressure running, doing a lot of weddings and music was an outlet. So many times after a wedding, my assistants and I would go listen to some, some blues bands afterwards or we meet up with other people and it was just a, just a great time. So I got to know and meet a lot of fantastic blues musicians in Pennsylvania and also down here in North Carolina. So let's go have a look at this and go easy on the comments because like I said, I'm not the best player. And even though my hair is kind of funny looking, the guitar looks nice. So thank you very much. guitar. I purchased this new back in 1988 at Dave Phillips Music in Phillipsburg, New Jersey, which is just right outside of Easton, Pennsylvania. And up until the last few years, this is the first time I played this plugged into an amplifier in many years. In fact, the last couple of days was the first time I played it overall in, in years. As you can see, B.B. King signed this guitar. I was lucky enough to, uh, to see one of his performances at the State Theater in Easton, so I took this guitar along and I uh, asked if he could sign it. It's sort of a long story, and I'll, I'll tell you that story in just a few minutes. But uh, after he signed it, I just never wanted to take it out and play it. I think I, since I owned this guitar, I probably took it out maybe once, twice at the most. And uh, it's never been played even that much. As you can see, it's in beautiful condition. The case that it comes in is just awesome. It's, it's very plush. It's a beautiful guitar. Actually, uh, of course, without a doubt, it's BB's guitar. So naturally, it's great for the blues. But it's also great for rock and roll. And a lot of people use it for jazz. And you can get so many different tones out of this guitar. Basically, it's got the two volumes, two tone switches along with a three-way toggle, similar to a Les Paul style. But this guitar also has what's called a varitone switch. Goes into a, let's see, two, three, four, six different positions. Get six, six more different tones out of it. Now, of course, most people keep it at one, two, maybe three. But if you experiment, you get some really beautiful sounds out of this guitar. And, let me just run through a couple of these. So, just
just bear with me, I haven't played this thing for, for years. But okay, right now it's on one, which is pretty it's good for a lot of different things. Rock and roll and blues. Baritone switch on one. We're going to have the three way selector all the way up, more in the bass position. And this is sort of a nice tone for like rhythm guitar. Let's see. to maybe three, four, five position, it gets sort of very trebly, uh, thin sounding. So, which might be good for certain tones that you might be looking for in certain instances. You hear that difference? Very thin sounding, but it's, it's part of a tone. So now we're on the up position, it's very, it's more of a mid-range to a bassy sound. Yeah, that's at number three. The baritone's on three. If we go to four, gets even more thinner. And you're probably wondering, well, why would I use that? Well, all kinds of neat tones, actually. I was just experimenting just a little while ago. But, okay. Let's say you want to get a sound something like this. Kind of a cool tangy sound. You can get other things like... set to the one position and the three-way toggle is going to be set in the middle and we're going to 
put a little bit of distortion on it. We had a little bit of overdrive, actually, not so much distortion. It's just set very low to an Ibanez 2 Screamer TS9. And, of course, we're playing through a Fender Blues Deluxe, which is a 12-inch speaker, tube amp, several years old. And it's, it's a pretty good amp, not bad. It's, it's not as good as, as maybe some of the other Fender amps. I used to have a Super Reverb, which was just awesome, but too heavy. This one is fairly, well, it's not all that light, but it's a lot easier to carry around if you do play out. But just to give you an idea, we're now set, like I mentioned, so a little bit of overdrive. <laughs> Kind of cool coming from a blues guitar, Lucille. 